Hello everyone, it's Helen Griffin here and thank you for joining me today. So I thought I'd film a quick video because I've been doing a little bit of shopping and some of these may be appearing in future videos before Christmas, especially these two here, if they stay in stock. So these are from Craftstash and they're by Pretty Quick and they're, they're really like gift packs really. They remind me of gift packs. It's a whole complete set on what you can do. So let's have a quick look at this cracker. Create your own cracker. It's quite quite large. I can't fit it all on camera. So let's get the whole entire kit out here. Let's tip it all out. You get everything you need here to make your own Christmas crackers. So if you want a demonstration of this, let me know in the comments down below and I will do that. I mean, it's quite self-explanatory and you get everything you need in there. So let's, let's open this up. So you're going to be needing a large format die cutting machine for this. So here is, oh it comes with the instructions as well. So you get party hats, so this is just traditional, traditional um, Christmas crackers here. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten party hats. So there's enough here for ten. You get these um, cracker pop things, uh, snaps, whatever, um, I can't think of the official name, but you get, I think it's ten of those as well. Yep, you get ten, or nine of, nine of those. And you also get the ribbons here as well for um, tying up these sections here. So all you need to add really is your paper that you're going to use and a little gift to put inside. I mean, I have these left over from my previous Christmas crackers. So I think I showed you these in my Christmas in July things where I made my own cracker. This one, this one would have made it so much easier. So let's pop this aside. So this is currently, I don't know the price, so I'm not going to say, oh, there it is. There's the tenth one. That fell that, that away from me. So let's pop that back in. So you can use this year in, year out. doesn't even have to be Christmas. And you can obviously buy in the UK, you can buy these refills here for the snaps on eBay. Let's pop that aside. I'm going to be making a huge mess behind me. So this is pretty quick. This is called Create Your Own Advent Houses. Let's open this one up. This is a proper goodie bag worth of things, so that's empty. Right, so I'm not actually going to open this up. Fully, but I'm hoping you can get the idea of Russian will. What am I saying? Not going to open it up. Let's open it up and have a look. So you get all these individual tiny little numbers. This is going to be absolutely perfect for your advent calendars. Perfect. And I like the fact they are loose, but I do like the fact that they're not stuck together um, and linked together with those tiny little bits of um, metal where they're all joined together and you have to get your wire cutters out to um, separate them. I really don't like that job. So I'm really happy that they are loose, so I'm going to have to get a little container to put those in. Then we have a lovely stamps are here so we can do the roof. And there's another set uh, of numbers here as well. And we have the windows and a nice door there, even icicles and snow on them. And then we have three houses, different sizes and shapes. So let's see if these fit on a standard Big Shot. So that one will. That one, I would put it through with this hanging off. Because that's fine, you can cut that in yourself. So that works. This big house here, you're going to need an A4 one for that one. But the other two you can pretty much just about get away with. Pop everything back in. I absolutely love that one. I just love the way it comes in the kit. And you get all the little things you need. So let's pop this back inside as well. They're not super expensive either. And if you're overseas or in America, um, you get free delivery now if your order is over $80, $80 and or $85. Everything is on my website, and then it's slightly different for Canada as well, but it's free shipping over a certain amount, so you can really stock up on your favourites. Okay, moving on, I have added 
some pencils now this would have um, appeared in one of the videos either before or after this one so these are rich and vibrant colors uh, colored pencils by Arteza these are from Amazon and you get two layers here I've been meaning to get some nice oh, sorry if you don't like that noise I've been meaning to get some nice coloured pencils for a long time now and I thought 48 and a good selection of colours here. Ideally I would like Prisma colours but um, basically I'm after blendable pencils and these blend just as well. So I've never tried um, a Prisma colour but I'm impressed with these so I'm going to keep these on and then I'm going to keep the Prisma colour on my wish list. So I've already used these already on one of the projects. This is day 10 of my Christmas in July series. I just love how the colours have turned out on that. So if that hasn't been out yet, that's the next video coming up. Right, so those are the colour pencils. Then I've treated myself to just big old boring cardstock. I love cardstock. So these ones are pre-made cards, so I have them in 7x5s, both of them are 7x5s. This one is in craft and it comes with the envelopes. This one is white, also comes with the envelopes. Really good packs there, really good basics to have in your stash. Moving on, I've also updated more of my card stocks. So this is from Die Cuts with a View. And it's 6x6 and it's double sided as well. So it's textured on one side and smooth on the other. And um, I really like this one because the pastels. And when I get my magazine commissions, they like to um, send me, sometimes they send me shades of blue to work with. And it's really hard for me to colour match that with what's available. But these ones here are going to be perfect for colour matching for the blues that I need. And also um, we're coming up to um, Mother's Day, Valentine's Day for the next season and Easter. So these lovely pastels are going to work really well. So I also bought this 8x8. This is by the Paper Boutique and you can get this at Craft Stash as well. This one's called Misty Mornings. And there's a few other new pads that are coming in that are on pre-order as well, as well as some of them that are still available. So I absolutely love these florals. This is going to make a lovely Mother's Day project. They're single-sided. So they're white on the back. And I love that. So that's going to make some lovely projects in the spring. And here I have heat-resistant acetate. That's A4 as well. So I'm going to be having loads of fun trying that one out. So I expect that coming up in a few videos time. Hopefully I can fit it in for a Christmas project. So here we have more cardstock. I like to have most colours in my stash for what I need to use because when I get a magazine commission coming in it's nice for me to just have the cardstock already. So I'm just building up my collection now. I mean my collection of cardstock is probably about this wide. And I will be doing a craft room tour soon if you would be interested in that. So I can show you all my card collections. Right, so this one is called For Him. And it's got the blues and the greys. So the blues and the greys do appear quite often in some of my commissions. So I need those colours. And here we have some lovely colours here. This is called For Her. And it's got some um, greys, like stormy greys, the dusky pinks. These are like the dusky sort of colours. And I just love these flowers here. Leave that aside. This one's called Nature's Gift, and um, these are all 24 packs with eight colours and three of each. And this one is more like pastel dusky colours here with the purples and the greens. So it's just like an extension of this one. And here we have Pink Paradise as well. So we, some of these do actually have matching um, paper pads. So Go, move on to Craft Stash and have a look and see what they've got. It's called the Paper Boutique and it will be in their branding section so it's really easy to find this. So I absolutely love these colours as well. I just love this um, stormy navy blue as well. So those are my, my new cards. Move that aside. Make it a huge mess behind me. Right, magazines. I love magazines. I'm sure you all do too. Did you all take... Um, advantage of the Black Friday sale last week all those magazines 75% off but well, these weren't in there but um, 
all the others were so if you manage to get your hands on those well done well done well done right so this one is die cutting essentials this is issue 44 and this is the gift you get with it it's lovely i'm not sure if i've shown this magazine before but i'm going to show you again just in case you're new and this one is a full-on die here it's all, it's all one piece and then we have a separate die here for the uh, the pot and there's so many options that you can do with this there really is so i am i am in this one i'll show quickly show you if i can find the page that i'm on maybe i should look in the contents Here I, here I am. So these are my mates. I've made a lovely box here, a sweetie jar. Oh, and you can also win some of my products in here as well from the Simply Make Crafts. So that is Die Cutting Essentials issue 44. This is absolutely perfect if you want a really easy Christmas card. It's now December, so... Um, Get those Christmas cards made if you haven't already. So this is Creative Stamping issue 64. And I absolutely love this one as well. I actually worked on this and <clears throat> this is my card. This is my card. I'm so excited. I'm on the front cover. I'm not one of the little ones. I'm the big one there. So I was really happy to see that. And the stamp sets you get with this is from John Next Door. Here he is here. Uh, John Lockwood so he has the John next door range and we have these are his stamps up the top there and then we have some extras here so these are the lovely circles so you can make some really nice um they've got the die there as well so you can cut that out and the poncettia I love poncettias so let's have a quick look inside here look at the projects that I've made there we go so I think this one is my favourite. This one is my favourite here. And I've used watercolours on that. And this one is my second favourite. Okay, so this is a huge stamp set there. There's so much that you can do with that. And with the coordinating um, dies here, it cuts out the holly and the snowflakes as well so and then you get extra snowflake dye and the banner here for these uh, sentiments here and the snowflakes okay so that's creative stamping issue 64 these are all available at craft stash and now this has appeared in one of my videos before and i will be using this again i have a great idea on what to do with this embossing folder so this is Papercraft Essentials, issue 166, and it's really, really, it's got really good ideas here on what to use. I absolutely love this. Some really good ideas on what to use with your um, free gift. Oh, I am in this one. I used the Stamping Up stamp set for this one. I, I absolutely, I really enjoyed this one. These cards didn't take me very long to make at all. And um, I just found the stamp set. It was the stamp set called P.S. You're the Best Stamp Set. And it was a really, really easy stamp set to work with. So I definitely recommend this stamp set. Definitely. That's from Stamping Up. And here is the free gift. So you get a 6x6 six six embossing folder. You get a Merry Christmas die. Let me see if I can find... I think I've put it away now, but um, day, what day was it? Day two, day one. It was one of the, it was one of the very first days of my Twelve Days of Christmas series. I will link that down below in case you want to watch that. And you get a lovely um, tree leaf die here. I love these these sorts of things because you can make the wreaths go round, and you can even add sprigs coming out of the sentiment. And this sentiment here. It comes with an outline as well, so you can make a background for your die as well for the Merry Christmas. 
and this is the from the Winter Wonderland collection. This particular set is exclusive to the magazine, but it does coordinate with everything else from the Winter Wonderland collection from Crafter's Companion. So that's a really, really good gift. So let's pop that away. And then here we have Simply Cards and Paper Craft. This is issue 184. I had loads of fun making this one. So this is my project here. This is a Christmas Eve box. And I will find the page that I'm on. Oh, and Becky, she chose she chose this one as her favourite project for this issue. So I was really excited to see that. And I'm actually pretty feeling hungry right now. And I could really eat those fish and chips. I do have a fish and chips down the road from me. It's like five minutes away. So I am tempted. Maybe I'll do that on my last day of work. Because I'm going to be taking a couple of weeks off. I'll make sure that I have enough films to cover me for over... Um, Christmas and New Year but um, I am going to be um, taking a couple of weeks out so maybe on my last day of working I'll pop myself down to I can't find the page now I'm not finding anything today okay I'm on page 33 there we go use the contents yes yeah, so on my last day I might go and treat myself to fish and chips so here we have things for Christmas. These are the perfect little gifts here to stick inside a homemade Christmas Eve box. So I have an 8x8 box here. and Everything fits in. Don't forget the, the magic key for Father Christmas. And then we have milk for Santa. I kind of say both. My kids say Santa. I say Father Christmas. So it's those two words are in my vocabulary. But let me know which one you prefer. Do you say Santa or do you say Father Christmas? It's the British thing to say Father Christmas. So, but it, it is, uh, we are getting more Santa words over here now. So that is issue 184. And this is the free gift you get with there. So we get some scenic nativity die so you get four of these and they, they're, not, they're not just for Christmas there are ideas in here for using this uh, die set for a non-Christmas theme as well because we've got the palm trees here so there's loads of things that you can do with that and then I've been wanting one of these for like forever forever I have wanted one of these do you know what it is? It's a planner punch, and if we open it up inside. Oops. We open it upside there. Well, I didn't mean to do that, but if we open up in here, we have uh, the punches, and they are movable. And inside here, it tells you um, what sizes they do, and also this pulls out there. Where it is this side? This comes out here, so it's a nice guide for when you're punching. So I got these for one of my upcoming projects. I'll move that aside. I'm going to need that for this project here. So this is going to be my Christmas planner this year. So I've printed off some large photographs. They're going to go inside. So this planner here is an A5 planner from Amazon. It's a ring binder and it, I'm going to take all these pages out and it opens up just like that. So I'm not going to be able to overfill it, it's quite small. So this is going to be my memory keeping and my planning. So it's going to have my gift lists and everything. I've already started my gift list. So they're on separate pieces of paper but I am going to add them um, to this planner and I'll be using the punch... Um, planner punch to get these in as well and I'll be using these as like dashboards and nice sentiments and, and memories and things and I'll be adding um, wording and pictures onto the actual photographs as well so I won't actually be using these I'll be using um, a downloadable planner uh, so it will be a digital planner that you print out and I'll be using that from a shop on Etsy it's one of my favorite planner shops from Etsy and um, I'll be using that for this but um, the video will be out very shortly for this album so now that I've shown you everything I can now get started on the video for this planner so I just need to print everything out for that and last but not least I have glossy accents I have had this before I had this in a larger bottle and I absolutely loved it so um, 
when I saw the tiny tiny bottle and it's got a tiny little nib at the top there as well um, I'm definitely going to be using this on my future projects so I've, I've been wanting to replace my glossy accents the first one I bought was probably 2006 that's definitely long gone dried up and I've threw that out a couple of years ago so um, this is basically its replacement so I'm really looking forward to using this and adding some nice glossy accents to my project so it will be perfect for Christmas so that is today's haul I hope you enjoyed it I hope you've been inspired to maybe try something new if you see something this is this is where you can this is where I get my ideas from from actually seeing everything something will definitely jump out at me and I go I know exactly what I'm going to make with that so um, that's that's how my mind works I don't know if you're the same so yeah let me know down in the comments where you get your ideas from okay so that is today's haul and I'll see you soon for my next video